I need to start this video off by giving a PSA that I am talking about mental health and mental struggles in this video. And if that's something that will trigger you, please stop watching. I've been going through quite the mental struggle lately and I needed to reset. And so these are the things that I did to try and overcome these sad feelings and work through them. I am not a healthcare professional. I am not a therapist. And so if that's what you're here for, I am not that person. If you're having those feelings, talk to a healthcare professional. These are just the things that I've done to try to overcome these feelings. And if it gets worse, I will see a healthcare professional. But for now, I feel like I'm able to deal with it and try to overcome it with some healthy habits and some healthy choices. And I'll see if it works. If it doesn't work, I feel like at least I gave it a shot. She's not going back to sleep, so. Boy. Boy. Okay. You like this? Are you gonna work out with mama? Yeah. You gonna work out with me? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Savannah's on our bed having like the time of her life. We've found out that she is definitely a little blanket girl, which apparently Brian was too. So funny, I had no idea. So anyways, I am gonna take some time to do a little self-care. This week has been all about trying to, for me, has been all about trying to like create balance, get away from things that are really not serving me well at all, like my phone, and trying to take care of myself and my baby and my family and keeping it all together. So let's do some skincare. <laughs> extra because I just feel like I need it. I'm going to use some uh, facial scrub. <laughs> I 
just found this um, Honest Beauty Calm and Renew Melting Eye Balm. I love it so much. At this point, I'm starting to really show signs of aging. You know, it was like a little bit before, but at 30, I'm definitely noticing a lot more and then like hanging around. And I like that this is really thick and it seems to like really help. Moisturizing with the Honest Beauty Hydro Gel Cream. Yeah, we're done. We are done. You're so cute. You're so cute. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? Tractor me. Okay, baby's down for her second nap. I have a clean face. I have worked out and I've had one cup of coffee. So I feel like in that way, it is a success. <laughs> um, what I was talking about earlier was that I'm, I'm trying to like really make this week about balance and about taking care of myself and my family and the house. And so I went through my phone and I created like on the iPhone, there's a setting where you can put it to, um, different focuses. And I created a personal focus and I feel like it's as close to putting my phone in a drawer as I can get with having a baby that I need to like make sure is safe. I wish it did like a better job of not showing me things because it's still kind of like on the bottom is like, while you were in focus, these things happened. So I'm like seeing that I'm getting messages and seeing that things are coming through. I wish that it didn't show that at all because I feel like it's kind of a distraction. But other than that, I've done really good. Basically, I can only get messages from Brian and I asked, I told him like, I need some, like a mental health week. Like I feel really mentally exhausted and men mentally struggling. And so he helped me set this up on my phone. So I have access to Cubo, which is the baby monitor that we use. I have access to Huckleberry, which is how I track her sleep. I also have the watch app on my phone so that I can track, cause we're sleep training her right now. I need to be able to access that. What else do I have? And Fastic, but I turned off notifications from Fastic because I don't want them to be like, it's time to stop fasting. I don't need that notification. Like I'm pretty much just using it for my own personal tracking of when I start eating, when I stop eating, but I don't want them to be bothering me. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm tired of being bothered by apps and like just notifications constantly going off on my phone, on my watch. It's just feels like an invasion of my life and a, like a constant disruption in my day. And I'm just so freaking over it. So I really want to try to finish this electrolyte drink before I have my second cup of coffee, but it's almost noon. It's 1148. And I'm hungry. So I may wait to have my next coffee until after I eat. In fact, Brian just came in and did this, which means it's time for food. And I'm so ready for it. means it's time to get up and move. So Mark Sisson recommends moving for 20 minutes in between. 
Hey, editing Taylor here. I was double checking what Mark Sisson's Two Meals a Day book said about the whole like getting up thing, how often, how frequently, and for how long. And I completely misread it. It's that you're supposed to get up every 20 minutes, look 20 feet in front of you for 20 seconds and do 20 deep squats. So that's a lot less time than a full 20 minutes every 20 minutes. That seems a lot more doable. And then every five minutes, take a longer break and do something strenuous. So yeah, just, just wanted to put it out there that I was incorrect. All right, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I really don't feel like I have that much time today, but I am going to open up work out and open up traditional strength training, I guess. I'm gonna do a wall sit. So on my watch, got that little bubble right there. I'm gonna just go for as long as I can. I hope you can see me okay. Ready, okay. Can you believe he does this for 20 minutes? <sighs> the strength that that would take. <sighs> I can go for a while, but I don't know about 20 minutes. Or I used to be able to go for a while. I don't know how long I can go now. He says that the other benefit to taking breaks is that you want to like look at something far away because our eyes concentrating on something super close isn't good for us. Um, for our like eye development and the way that we are in nature, like as cavemen, we looked really far away and we like looked at expanses, like making sure that the coast was clear or like when we were hunting. So it's really important to take a break from your screen and like look as far ahead in the room as you can and like focus on an object or look around. I know that um, Andrew Huberman has talked about that also in one of the videos that Brian watched. So. God, it's only been like two minutes. <laughs> My legs are tired. <sighs> I used to be able to do that for so long. Okay, going again. I'm also really trying to suck my abs in to the point that my back touches the wall, which is, I feel like really difficult for me. I really arch my back when I do ab exercises. And the more that I learn about ab work, the more that I learn that you're really not supposed to do that. So I'm really trying to make my back touch the wall as I'm hugging in my abs doing these. One more minute down. I'm gonna do a couple of super deep squats.
first time I learned about really deep squats, I talked about it in a previous video, was uh, the Bradley method for labor and having this help open up your hips super good for you preparing for a baby but I've also read that this is kind of like a very normal stance as homo sapiens for like picking berries crouching down and cooking your dinner and all that kind of stuff so it's like really good for opening you up completely and the more that you can do this kind of stance this kind of like movement it really helps your body I'm not sure the specifics around it I just remember hearing about it in a mobility video that Brian was watching this I'm doing just to kind of like stretch things out I didn't do a stretch after my workout so I feel like I really should do a little bit of stretching really you really feel it like right here this one it's really good all right so not including me stopping the watch to go blow my nose. I've been going for like nearly eight minutes. I feel like that's probably good enough and I'm gonna get back to work. The baby has awoken, so it is time to go grab her. <laughs> We just finished eating and playing for a while. And while we were, when we were finished eating, we um, played. And while, I think while I was feeding her, my timer went off saying that it was like time to move around. So um, obviously I didn't because I was busy. But now that I'm done, I'm gonna go downstairs, uh, start a load of laundry, because my goal was to do at least one load of laundry today. And yeah. That'll be some movement, going down the stairs, doing that. We'll see what else happens. Bonus points for B-roll capturing. I have to go up and down the stairs twice, so I'm just saying. Got extra moves today. What up? Time to do some laundry. This video here I hope that this was helpful for someone especially if you're interested in either paleolithic living or how to get out of depression this is sort of just like how I'm trying to um, conquer some of the sad or like lonely feelings that I've been having 
and trying to live more in alignment with a way that matches my values and things that are important to me. So if you like this, please hit that like button down below. It really super supports my channel. Please hit subscribe if you're not currently. 80% of the people who are watching these videos are not subscribed. So if you're watching my videos continually, please subscribe. It really helps. You'll get notified when I post a new video. And I hope to see you guys here next time. Bye. We're going to do some sit-ups, Savannah. Oh, idea it is. Wow. Look at you, boo-boos. You want that? Strong baby girly. Boop. Pop she goes.